Stories. The dog. I got my dog probably when I was six or seven. I remember the day quite well. Me and my sister had had an inkling we were going to get one. I mean, it's not like we were begging for one though, like a lot of kids do. And we came home one day from school and went to play out and my dad asked us really seriously to come back into the living room. Any time my dad spoke like that, it was usually something pretty serious. So a lot of things ran through my mind, you know. Oh, someone's passed away or my parents were attempting their divorce for the umpteenth time. But no, we walked, we both walked into the living room and there was a box on the floor. So he lifted up the box and there was this excited small miniature schnauzer. As soon as he got out of the box, he was running around everywhere. We called him Barney, and he was tiny with a salt and pepper coat. He soon grew a liking for pig's ears, which we'd buy for him every now and then from the market. In those years, my father had a camper van, a really nice VW one. In fact, he was featured in a magazine after he did it up. We'd often go away for a weekend uh, to set up camp near a national park like the Lake District or something and, and the dog would come with us for a run around. He would never go anywhere near the reservoirs though. He absolutely loathed the water. One year we went on holiday to Newquay and anyway, we used to leave the dog with my grandmother and grandfather for the fortnight we were away. Well, one year we just didn't pick him back up, despite mine and my sister's constant reminders to my parents. I suppose my mother got fed up of the dog, so the dog lived with my grandmother. I reckon he was pretty happy with that, as my grandmother cooks a lot of meat and the dog ended up eating plenty of it, and of course ended up putting on a bit of weight. After a while we gave up reminding my parents to bring him back home and just got used to it. And every time we went to my nanans, which was very often because she lived close by, we'd be greeted gleefully at the door by Barney. I moved away for work, and it was a year before I went back to England again. But I came back one Christmas, and my father, brother and sister drove to my nanans' house, walked through the door, sat down, had a cup of tea in the living room, talking about God knows what, and I thought, well, where's Barney? There was a hush in the room. My father raised his eyebrows, my brother gasped, and my grandmother just said, oh, we've had to put him down, love. His back had gone. I said, well, when? Oh, six months ago or something. With all the rubbish my family jabbered on about every time we Skyped, nobody had thought about telling me my dog had been put down. I couldn't believe it.